Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining us. Um, I've just been a little busy lately taking care of get ready for winter things. So, you know, firewood, that kind of stuff. Um, chimney cleaning. So, um, anyway... We've got this little ugly duckling 15 Johnny Rude I'm trying to slam together here. And uh, still ain't decided I, whether I'm going to make it a short shaft or a long shaft. I don't know. I have to go out there and look on my rack and see what I got. And then that will probably help me decide. So, um, I say... Uh, it's coming along, but we still got a little ways to go, so let's get at it. Okay, this is the power head off the 81. Now, I went to take off this inner exhaust tube um, so I could look at these grommet here. And you see all this white powder? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole right there. I drilled a hole right there and I took my little nozzle put in the hole I drilled it big enough so that I could get my little nozzle in there squirted the lube in there but you can see how salty this thing was is um, but I was able to let that soak for about half an hour then I came back and then I took my zipper gun, tighten it a little bit, loosen it a little bit, tighten it, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it until it came all the way around and then you get them out. Let's see what we got for grommets and such. Okay. She's a little salty. You can see how white and salty that bolt is. Pretty much all of them are. But the grommet looks fantastic, really. You can see how nice that is. No, it's not curled or knurled over at all in there. That looks good. I'll trim it a little bit right here on this inner side. And other than that, it looks good. But, we still got to make that decision. Is it going to be a long shaft? Or is it going to be a short shaft? Because I have the other inner exhaust tube for the 76 which is a long shaft. So all I'd have to do is pop that one off there and put it on here. Make sure the grommet is good. Oh, another thing I did. While you're in here, you got to do this too on these salty ones. See the thermostat cover is gone? The thermostat actually don't look that bad. I mean, it, it may to you look, you know, pretty bad, but that ain't that bad, although it is, no, I can't reuse it because it's busted right there. So I'll have to get another one. Yeah, it's busted right there. It'd probably still work, but why chance it? see that high heat paint it just turns to uh, a real flat dull color 
So again, we're going to take the triple thick crystal clear glaze and turn this into a shinier finish, a much glossier finish.
there we are. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And I got the old Bay Runner with the Zuki DT40 lit off. I'm going to go for a boat ride. And I'm going to go see if I can catch me a dinner. I got a pretty good size something. Now you wonder why I call them an old salty. One of these old salties. Yeah. This is what's called an old salty. So I'm going to go spray that with a water hose real quick. I'll be back. Okay, we're doing the drilling. Drilling the hole right along the broke off stud. Put the uh, stuff in there. And I'll probably drill another one on the other side too. Probably will. Because that's what happens with an old salty. You got to finesse. Where was that hole at? Right there? Yeah, I'll do one over here. Straight down alongside the broke off bolt. All right, T. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see. I drilled a hole there. That one I could actually drill a little deeper. Drilled a hole there, that one's pretty good and deep. Same over here. And one over here. So I've got those holes. I'm gonna drill this one a little deeper. It could go a little bit deeper. All right, I let it soak for about a good 15 minutes and I've got good movement on them. And should be able to get them out now, a little back and forth, back and forth. Okay, I got me a brand new impeller. Um, here's the one that came out of it. You can see it's all delaminated and everything. You can pop that right out. So that was doing no good. And then I thought the one that came out of that other unit was in better shape. And it is. I mean, it would still pump water. But I found a, a tear right there. It's the only tear, but it's still a tear. So I went and got a new one. Brand new. So, put 
put a little petroleum jelly right there so I can put that right there and it'll stay. <laughs> Of course, it would have helped if I'd have looked. And she is. Okay. Okay, there's your short shaft one and your long shaft one. So that's your shift rods. You can see and they just screw in and out. So I'm getting I'm taking out the long shaft one and I'm putting it in the shorty shaft one. Okay, so we got everything on the lower unit shortened except for the water tube. And you can see I made a mark right there in blue with my paint pen. What you're going to do, and that's marked at five inches. So you slide this up into there. And put the tip end of that right there at five. I'm gonna have to get a flashlight, I can't see in there. All right, five inches and mark it. Let me mark the very tip of this thing, I can't see it. There we go. Da, 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 da. There's my five mark, and there's that. All right. So about a half inch sticks out. And then, let me make sure I can see my mark good. Yep. I can see it pretty good there. And then what I'm going to do is take my die grinder, get me some glasses, my Diablo, is it plugged in? Okay, where's that flashlight? And then I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to cut it at a little bit of an angle. And there's my five inch mark. And then I'll clean the end of that up. What I normally use is a rat tail file. The old rat tail. Something about like that guy there. It tapers. Because this has to go in the end of that garment. So I just clean it up a little bit. I know you can't see this. I'll try and turn it where you can see it a little bit, but you just want to clean it up so that it's, you know, you know. Because when you're putting these ones back on, it is tough to see that, uh, you know, whether it goes in. That's why I cut it at an angle a little bit. Um, pretty good there all 
I'll try and get you over here with some light. Alright, gee. That's what it looks like. You see, I cut it at a little bit of an angle. And uh, that should be about right there. So there's the copper in right there. And, uh, and that should go down in there into the grommet hole right here. We'll find out. Like I said, when you're dealing with these, you don't have a lot of whether or not you can see it. And then you got that shift link that you got to get in there yet. And then hope. I think I'll have it. And we're turning. Can you stay there for just a second? Would ya? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good Lord. So I get on there. Yeah, boy. I guess we can do it that way, man. Try the old. That's what I thought. She'll just spit on me. Okay, you see my little yellow hose here? That's hooked to the water outlet there and then I've got my Milwaukee drill. So, it is pumping water. Something is not right. Something is amiss. I'm not sure what it is, but when I spin this over, I can feel a grinding kind of. Right when that drill starts to let off. don't seem to want to go in reverse correctly. So, what does it mean? What does it mean? Well, yeah, um, okay, when I started this little video series here on this little ugly duckling, um, as I said before, when is it time to go? It ain't worth it. Um, I think I'm almost to it on this point. Remember when we started this little series here, the engine and its ugly duckling originality made a whining noise. So I dropped the lower unit, I started it, and the whining noise went away. The power head sounded good. So that drags me a little deeper into the rabbit hole. Hey, this power, power head sounds good without that lower unit on it. Well, I don't have the carburetor, the electronics, anything on this engine. I chopped the uh, water tube, changed out the shift shaft to short, had quite a bit of a pickle of that thing going up in there into the power head. So I'm a little puzzled on this one. I'm going to drop this lower unit one more time 
and if I can't see a bend in that drive shaft or something, I did not check that. It seemed perfectly straight. I, you know, I didn't really examine the the splines on it real close on either end. But when I went to get it up into that crank, I had to pop it with my soft mallet. And then it went on a pin. And now when I spin it over with the half Milwaukee, it's pumping water, so I know that that water pump impeller and the uh, pickup tube is in the grommet. But I don't like the way it feels. It, and, and when it was in its original lower unit, with the whining and stuff, I can't remember if I felt that kind of grinding noise. But I'm beginning to think that once... Boy, I just don't know. I'm going to have to think about this one. Because it's, I'm thinking once I tighten everything together, just like if this power head was in its original form, could it be a bearing in there that's worn, that's, that once you press everything together, you know, both ends together, then the whining and the, the something just don't feel right? You guys can't feel it. I, I know you can't, but I've done enough of these to know something is not right there. Um, it feels sort of like it did when it was in its original leg and lower. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to think about this one. But uh, give me your thoughts. I, I don't know. Um, but I'm at that point that if I drop this lower and then put my half Milwaukee and that power head spins really good. And if you think back to it when we dropped that lower the first time, the original lower, the oil in there looked great. So... Drop the lower unit, problem went away. Oh, it's got to be the lower unit. I don't think so. I think it's the power head. I, I, give me your thoughts, because I, I, th I think something's going on with that power head. Sure, it'll, without the lower unit, it sounds great, and it'll run good. But you put it all back together, and this is in its second lower unit and leg and all. And, it, and it's back. The problem's back. So, I don't know. But anyway, it's late. I'm getting tired. Tart. Tart. Gotta feed the beast. Gotta feed the beast. Gotta feed the beast. So, that is going to be a wrap on this one. And that is definitely, without a doubt, a whole bunch of hacking <laughs> on Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More videos are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.